What is up everybody, it's okay, okay, 10. Sorry about the music in the background, I can't really do anything about it. I can't really go back there and just like, I don't know, tell them to stop playing. It, you know, it, they're allowed to play if they want to, but I just wanted to record this video because while I was showering earlier, just actually just now, um, I was thinking of something that happened to me. I, I, I remember uh, one day I just left like a trail of shit all the way to my room and I just wanted to talk about it because I found it really interesting and hilarious, I guess. I laughed so hard. Anyways... This story starts off where every other normal story starts off. It was in my bathroom where I was sitting on my toilet, just like taking a fat fucking shit, expelling everything out of my bowels, all that shit that was left inside. I could feel my intestines just coming out. And I was watching, I'm guessing probably Vanos Gaming on my iPad. This was back in middle school. I forgot to mention that small detail. Um, my iPad is a total piece of shit. I swear to God that the fact that my iPad was a piece of shit, outdated as fuck. Um, and the Wi-Fi is just garbage. You just kind of, yeah, it sucked ass. It, it would constantly load. I remember, sorry about that, that was my crutches. I remember, like, when I was just sitting on my bed alone, I'd jerk off sometimes in the middle of the night, and my iPad would just load constantly on different parts of the scenes, and I'm just, like, trying to fucking jerk off, trying to orgasm, and, you know, I had to stop my jerking off motion from time to time. And then there are times where I finally do expel all my cum out of my penis, and... The the screen would just pause on a guy's face and that shit was so annoying. It's like no, I'm not. It's 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 like my iPad was trying to say I was gay or something, which I'm not gay, but I have nothing against gay people. It's just kind of weird. But hey, whatever. That that's that's that. Hey, who cares? Uh, we're on the the trail of shit. So this trail of shit that I left behind, like a uh, Hansel and Gretel story, where they left breadcrumbs back to their house or some shit like that. I forgot how that story went. To be honest, um. Uh, while I was taking shit, like at the, around the time when I was about to end taking a shit, you know, I was almost done, it was, all, my downtime was almost finished, I saw that my toilet paper was missing. Now, I don't know how I didn't realize my toilet paper was missing that entire time, how we were running super low on toilet paper, sorry, I'm getting belches right now. Uh, this was back in middle school, I was kind of an idiot, I guess, but, uh, when I noticed it, I looked around frantically just panicking like like I just lost my ring my wedding ring or some shit and I couldn't find any toilet paper obviously that that's kind of where the story goes and I while I was doing this and I saw that there was no toilet paper at all I immediately thought in my head oh fuck I'm gonna have to get off off my toilet seat and go to my room to get toilet paper this is gonna be shitty is what I thought in my head so I got off my toilet like I was a t-rex or some shit you know with my arms out and I was kind of like leaning forward a little bit because I don't know. I just kept the motion of like what I was like on the toilet. I have no clue why I did that. It could have just stand. No, actually, I wanted to keep the poop in my butthole. That's what it was. I don't want to squeeze my butthole, but that would have helped a little bit better. I don't know why I didn't just do that. Whatever. That's not the point. Point is, I was like in a 45 degree angle pointing upwards. You know how in porno when they go doggy style, they go 90 degree angle, like a right triangle kind of, and you know they're about to take it up the ass. That's kind of like me, except my my body was a little tilted upward, so I'd say like 30 to 45 degree angle. That's not important. So I started walking towards my room, you know, dreading the painful uh, trail, the the painful adventure of going to my room to pick up toilet paper. No one was in the household at the time, thankfully. Thank God. They probably would have smelled the shit coming from a mile away. They probably smelled it inside my butthole, inside my, inside wherever my fucking poop stays, it's somewhere in my intestines, um, my anal cavity. I don't fucking know. Um, every step I took, I'm pretty sure I could feel a dingleberry just popping out of my asshole. It's like when an apple falls from an apple tree and it just plops on the floor. I didn't hear it, I didn't smell it, nor did I see it. But, I think I felt it, I'm not sure at the time. I probably did feel it, I just didn't register it as poop coming out of my butthole. So, while I was walking to my room, I think every step I took, my ass just jiggled a little bit, and that little bit of jiggle just, you know, sprinkled out, sprinkled out like a tiny bit of shit every single time, like a teardrop. So, while I was heading to my room, I th it was also, like, really, really organized shit, I think. It, like, it was, it was perfectly spaced somehow. I don't even know, I didn't even manage, to, like, uh, it's not like I purposely just spaced out my shit. I did it accidentally. So, anyways, when I got to my room, picked up the toilet paper, and I looked back, and I saw this brown, disgust, like, just, like, constant, it's like footprints in snow, except if... 
there isn't a left foot and a right foot. It was just like the middle. There was a middle foot, like a third foot, and it just kept hopping over and over again, straight forward. That's what it looked like, except it was a tiny piece of shit every single step it took. And I guess I cleaned it up. I can't remember if I actually did clean it up because, like I said, back in middle school, my hygienic state wasn't really good, and I didn't really care too much about cleaning and hygiene in general. So I was a stinky piece of shit. And that's probably why I didn't even smell it, because I was so used to sneaky smells. I probably didn't smell the shit at all, so I should have noticed it, noticed it a lot earlier, but I didn't. Anyways, I saw it and probably cleaned it up or didn't. It, it doesn't matter. The shit was gone anyway, so yeah. And then I got back on my toilet, wiped my ass, and flushed the toilet. I was done. Yeah, done with that pile of crap. Anyways, that, that's all. That, that's really all I wanted to say. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.